the tacos, baby. Yeah. What is going on, guys? Thank you for clicking onto the video. Can we all just give the video a like for these intros that Greg is putting together? It's unbelievable. But before we eat our faces off today, we have to get our workout in. If you guys didn't know, science shows 92% of people only work out so they can eat more food, and I probably fall into one of those categories. We have high rep legs today. Never a fun time. Excuse me, ma'am? What are you doing? What? I use Travis to say 15%. Post-workout of the gods, PE Science Select Protein Bar Fudge Brownie 15% link in description. Recovery will be on point thanks to this guy. And then we are gonna go do some exploring. Apparently there's some like food truck extravaganza downtown where all the best food trucks in the city consolidate down into one little area on Fayetteville Street. So of course we have to check that out. All right guys, so before we head out, we have to let you know what we are rocking. So the jeans, these are from Bonobos, one of my favorite fitting jeans out there. You guys know if you squat, it's really hard to find jeans that fit, so I highly recommend those. Almost any time I go anywhere, the shirts I'm wearing are Zephyr. The reason for that is because the quality is amazing. They are so soft, they fit great, and I just love the way that they look. Links for that will be down below. I love the black long sleeve as well as the gray short sleeve. Those are probably my two favorite shirts. If you have any questions, just send me a message on that. This jacket is from Ralph Warren, which I've had since high school. And Megan was kind of uh, making fun of me for this one, but you know what, this one's that bad. And then, most importantly, you gotta pick out your watch. So you see we got some options over here. These are all from Movement. So I think I am gonna go with, uh, let's see, I think this guy right here will probably look best. A little bit more casual for the day. And then we'll head out of here. I can get so we made it downtown. First off, I wanna give cameraman some props for knowing that this is the B-roll cam. She's holding the A-roll cam. She's becoming an expert overnight. So we have like five places that we wanna hit up. Different kinds of foods. We're gonna take you guys along for the adventure and we're gonna be eating good today, guys. I can get fly, 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 fly. First on the list is gonna be called Charlie's Kebab. This is cameraman's pick, so if it's bad, we're gonna blame her. Is that all right with you? Yep. All right, let's go. So we went with the chicken kebab. Now, I am not convinced that there's any value in the chicken being added to the stick. It just seems like more work, and I do not like to work for my food, but you know what, that is besides the point. We're gonna dip this in the tzatziki and see how it is. Pretty good. You all know I love Mediterranean food. That tzatziki sauce, that's where it's at. So I know what some of you are thinking, you go to food truck, get Mediterranean, that's kind of weak. Well, just wait guys, just wait. So we are going to a gourmet baked potato one up next. It looks much more interesting. I think you guys will like it a lot more. Look, they have gluten-free and vegan. <laughs> right up your alley. <laughs> chicken cheddar baked potato and I can honestly say this is the most amount of food I have ever seen inside of a baked potato just just take a look at that cameraman that's like crock pot chicken somehow stuffed inside of this guy oh my god with the barbecue sauce in there that is this right here this is probably like a like a 9.24 out of 10 how good? Same as yours. 9.2 whatever I said? Yep. You're a cop here. You don't even know. You don't even know. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. Like I cannot, it's not like they just put chicken and cheese on top of the potato. It's like somehow all intermingled in there perfectly. That is, um, that is a good potato stuffed. That's where you want to go guys. <laughs> So that is gonna be really, really hard to beat. And I'm gonna do something that Megan doesn't like when I do, but I'm gonna compare something to Austin, Texas. Because if you didn't know, we are known in Austin for food trucks. So what we're gonna do is try out some tacos. Now the tacos we've had in Raleigh have been kind of hit or miss. Bar taco, 
amazing. Good. Some of the other places, not so much. But Gonza Taco, that's what we're gonna try here. Look at that, look at that. That looks incredible. Gonza tacos look incredible. We got chicken, it looks like almost, I don't know if it's a, it's not a barbecue sauce, I don't think. Some kind of sauce in there, cilantro and onion. So, it's not the best taco I've ever had. It's good, it's good. I'm gonna give it 7.12 out of 10. It's good, it's decent. Okay, so they might not have the tacos here that they have in Austin, but we do have the love here, right? We have the love. That's how you stay out of the doghouse, guys. <laughs> All right, Megan, not a big taco fan, unless it's from Veracruz in Austin. Uh, but other than that, not so much. I'm gonna let her pick the next stop. Okay, so Megan wanted to try out this place called Chicken Q, if you can see over there. One of the highest rated places we saw on all of the reviews, and honestly, we looked at a lot. Just take a look at this. The whole freaking street covered in food trucks. Pretty awesome. I think there's 50 or so here. I think we might have to try to hit up all of them. What do we got over here? What is this? Chicken barbecue sandwich. Chicken barbecue sandwich. So I just got a DM from somebody saying that we should have tried the french fries from that place. Did you see french fries? From which place? The chicken cube. Oh yeah, seasoned. And you didn't get the french fries? No. Just the chicken sandwich. <laughs> okay. We have so much food. We need a cameraman review. It's not bad, but I didn't know that it was gonna be that. Well, I should have known. It's Eastern North Carolina barbecue. So it's spicy. It's vinegar based and spicy, yeah. Gotcha. And I like the sweet, okay. usually. But it's good. It's not so you're saying Texas barbecue is in fact better than North Carolina barbecue. Is that what I heard? I didn't go, I didn't say that. <laughs> What do you think so far? Full. <laughs> Best thing so far is the potato, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. You about that food truck life? <laughs> I'm definitely about that food truck life. I think the concept of food trucks is amazing. It's cool how they start as food trucks, they make it to brick and mortar, and then before you know it, it's like Cilantro, the best restaurant in the world. Chirpa? Chirpa. Is that how you say that? Chirpa chirpa, all right. I've never had a dumpling in my life, but it's the longest line here, so I assume that's gotta be pretty good. That's my logic, at least. So we ordered six juicy buns. I, th I still think I was being trolled there, but I have no idea what this is. It just looks slimy and... Wow. Dumplings, huh? Where have these been my whole life? Never had them. Never even heard of them. I always thought like a chicken dumpling was like, you know, an American dish that has like, I don't know, chicken. <laughs> Whatever this is, this is fantastic. Uh, what was that place called? Bora Bora? <laughs> chirpa Chirpa. Chirpa Chirpa. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you rate it? Out of all of everything we've had? Yeah. This would have been like an 8.2. Stuffed is a 9.2. Chicken Q is a 7.2. 0.2 is your thing, huh? <laughs> All right, yeah, these, that makes sense why the line was the longest. See, if you just follow that logic, you'll always get the best food, guarantee it. So while we're trying food that we've never had before, we're gonna go over there and try a vignette. I have no idea what that is, but if it's anything like the dumpling, I wanna be happy. How is that? It's like a less sweet donut. Yeah. So good. Alright, my first time trying a, not a baguette, a vignette, a binois, what is it? Bin, vignette? Alright. Oh my god. Yeah. You hit it head on. It's a less sweet donut with no filling, but it just tastes a lot fresher than a donut. That is, I'm gonna give that, in terms of desserts, it's not a cookie by any means, don't get, don't get it messed up. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. 3, 4 out of 10. 
Okay, my friends, the food truck extravaganza is over with. We ate very, very good. I highly recommend checking out those places. My top were the dumplings and the bourgeois or, or whatever those things were. You know, the things I've never had and I can't pronounce. I am so freaking uncultured. And I can't see anything with the sun beating me in the eyes right now. Luckily, I have these movement sunglasses on. Then I have some amazing news for all of you, and that is Movement has been nice enough to sponsor this video, which allows me to go out on the weekends and blow stacks on foods to entertain all of you. But most of you know, I've been working with Movement for many years now. I wear their sunglasses. Most recently, their blue light blocking glasses have been my favorite. I wear their watches. Overall, I'm just very impressed with all of their products, and what I love about them is they look amazing, but they are not going to break the bank they are very affordable which is perfect especially for this holiday season as you guys go out you start looking at buying gifts and I hope you're not those people that will actually go to a brick and mortar store park or try to park in these crazy parking lots which I'm in right now because Megan loves the bookstore it's just nuts it's not worth it when you can go on movement.com pick out pretty much anything that you want you want watches you want bracelets you want glasses they're all on there and in addition to the already great prices I mean the watches start around $95 you can save an additional 15% and get free shipping and free returns going to movement.com slash Travis so you can impress all of your loved ones with their fancy gifts you won't have to go broke doing it it is just a win win so go over to movement.com slash Travis save 15% get free shipping and free returns and knock out all of your holiday shopping there in like 10 to 15 minutes and you will be good to go my friends oh what book did you get uh, no. you got two books the oh. alchemist okay and then this is everything hold on show the people what i got you for christmas last year that's a movement bracelet how nice is that don't you think that every guy should buy their girlfriend something like that or maybe mm -hmm. even a watch mm -hmm. i love it Megan is zenning out <laughs> so hard right now. Okay, so Megan is in straight meditation mode right now. I don't want to interrupt her, so maybe you're like me. Maybe you have a hippie girlfriend that does some things that require some silence, or maybe you're still younger, you know, your parents send you to your bedroom, you know, you get grounded or whatever, and you want a little snack, you know, you want something you can make quick and easy. Well, let's bring back the poverty cereal. If you guys remember, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the puff wheat just like so. What I love about this is it has a ton of volume, fills you up, Ooh, I'm making a mess. But it doesn't really taste that great. So that is where your tripod comes in or your, you know, your protein powder. So for me, I am going to be using the cake pop. All you gotta do is top it like that. This is the lazy way to do it. It's really a lot better if you use a shaker cup. But you know, we don't really have a lot of resources at this point. So I'm gonna dump some water. Now I'm just gonna stir it up. And I am telling you, do not knock it until you try it. This stuff is delicious. How was your Zen session? Great. Do you feel like a new person? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, more importantly, she made us chili. So check this out, guys. I'm gonna show you the recipe in another video um, that you guys will actually have to watch a video during the week. I know, it's crazy. Could you imagine if they watched a video during the week that's not solely focused on food? Oh, <laughs> dang, look at, look at cameraman coming in. So we have this amazing homemade chili and then these things that Megan found at Trader Joe's. Unbelievable, I, I don't even know how to describe those. Even Megan will sit there and eat them, which you know means they're pretty fantastic. What did you say to me? I said I think we only want one. I think we only want one, one a piece. <laughs> That's how it works in this household. We have got the Brad, which is a terrible name by the way, and the Big Sexy, which is just happens to be my name. So it's appropriate. Which one do you want, Big Sexy? Yeah. <laughs> Always a good day when you end it with the fat and weird cookie, or I guess two fat and weird cookies. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything 
anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me and Meg, who's over here cleaning for the use. <laughs> we had a blast making this video. We were just talking about how much fun we had. If you want us to go out and do some more exploration, you just let us know. You down for some more exploration? Mm -hmm. More adventure? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we appreciate you and we will see you in the next video.